From the uh, general Khobobese region in Namibia, now this is, is to me, I have really, really very seldom encountered this material, absolute rarity. Tiny Babingtonite crystals. Now, crystal form will determine the difference between the Babingtonite and the uh, Epidote. Uh, definite underlying crystal form here. A little bit of amethyst in here. And when we look closer into these little amethyst crystals, we find there are little flakes of hematite inside them as well. Now, often associated with this uh, material, and I think over there we may have the, I think it's called the spinoidal hematite, where you have uh, uh, thin blades of hematite, which is also quite unusual for this deposit. Anyway, so here we have the Brandberg quartz, a little bit of amethyst actually, with the, the whole dollop of the Babingtonite crystal sitting on top. Now when we display it the other way around, let's see if we can focus on the Babingtonite per se. And often uh, on this particular matrix, I expect to find some silver metallic hematite blades. I think there may be some over here, but please look at my description. If I mention hematite, that's what we'd be looking at, so the spinoidal hematite. All the way from Namibia, from the, the general Geborbosep region in Namibia, home of the Brandberg Quartz. So here we actually have Brandberg Quartz, hematite and Babingtonite, all in one.